What is up, comic fam, and welcome to the Legion of Comics. I'm Mark, and today we're going to be looking at new comic book day for next week and to see which books made the Legion list. But first, check this out. Shout out the Big Time Collectibles. They sponsor the monthly Legion Loot Box for the channel member giveaway. Be sure to check out their website and follow them on social media. If you need anything clean to press, hit up Justin's Comics over on Instagram. Use that promo code We Are Legion and take advantage of the buy two, get one free promo we have going on right now. So let's get into it. Let's not waste any more of your precious time. About to take a look at the new comic book day books for next week and see which ones made the Legion list. So kicking it off with the indie. We have Rick Remender's A Righteous Thirst for Vengeance number three. So this is a mind twist of a book. It looks like we're dealing with a network of assassins, uh, uh, killers for hire, wet workmen. And there's a, a lot of twist to it that makes you think that our lead character might not be in his right mind. Like he might be imagining some murders. Is he even a killer? Not as a, a lot of questions. And it's a fast paced read. There's not a lot of dialogue. It's very uh, visually driven for the story. I'm definitely enjoying it and definitely looking forward to this next issue. Another crazy one. This one's from Aftershock, and this is issue three of Chicken Devil. So this has just been nuts. It has been a blast also. So we have this poor sap who owns his chicken restaurant, whose business partner got him, unfortunately, messed up with the Russian mobs over heroin. His family, wife and kids are now dead. His business partner who had any kind of ties and knowledge of this stuff is now dead, and he's left standing in a chicken suit with a gun holding the bag of cash. So I'm excited to see what he's going to do because it seems like he is fumbling his way into survival in each issue, and you, I'd never expect these little twists they've been throwing at us. So it's been a blast. Next up, we have Tom King's Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, issue six of eight. So this has been one of like the best reads coming out of DC right now. It has been absolutely gorgeous so we've been following supergirl along with her travel companion trying to catch up for a classic vengeance story on uh this guy uh crim who killed this girl's father and uh, in their quest to catch up with him they're finding different journeys along the way and each issue is highlighting like a different challenge a different struggle on the um this hero's journey that they're going through and it looks like we got comet on the cover here i'm wondering if that's going to be comet or if it's just a random horse but either way i'm definitely excited for this it has been a blast one of my most excited books that's been dropping lately is the uh, Infinite Frontier stuff by Josh Williamson. So this is the second volume to Infinite Frontier. It's called Justice League Incarnate. So we see this Justice League team form in that first volume, and uh, now it's kind of a cat and mouse game between them and this final form, Dark Side, who's trying to split the uh, Omniverse and take it for his own. We have a ragtag team of justice league members from all across the multiverse that have banded together and in that last issue we had our first appearance of dr multiverse this new heroine and we're going to see how she comes into play more in these coming issues and it looks like we're going to the nightmare world based on the cover here with super demon there and it looks i don't know if they're gonna be battling or trying to find some help but i'm always excited when etrigan makes an appearance Next up, we have Venom number three from Rom B and Al Ewing. So uh, I have no idea where this book is going. It looks like symbiotes are getting hunted down. Um, waiting a few more issues to see if it's going to kind of hit a stride because, uh, you know, where Donnie Cates left Venom, a lot had happened, a lot had changed, and then he's just gone. So now a new creative team has to pick it up and find their direction. So they're having to taper down the Cates era and start their era. So hopefully their era will get rocking and rolling here soon. So next up, as you see, this one takes up a little bit more space on the screen there. But Jock has his new three-issue Black Label uh, Batman book called One Dark Night. So uh, apparently we have a villain called EMP that's getting transported by the police. And the lights go out in the city and it's going to be kind of like a run-all-night style Batman getting the, uh, the uh, prisoner to his destination and through an all blacked out Gotham and Jock is doing all the interiors as well. So I'm excited for this one. It's going to be really cool. And it's perfectly timed with uh, the imposter ending last week and this one rolling out. 
So it's uh, there's already a lot of bat titles out there. So some smart scheduling to kind of not put any more out there, but just kind of get the next mini series going because these mini series are a, a great way to go about doing it instead of just having countless ongoing titles. Next up, we have <laughs> Batman Catwoman. I think this is issue number nine from Tom King and Clay Mann, but this is the final issue that Liam Sharp is doing the art on. So he did uh, seven, eight, and nine. He was a temporary artist on it. His art is stellar, so I'm excited to see what they're going to add to the story because, again, this is not necessarily the story in the book. is not the driving factor of this. It's more of the nuances that each issue give us in a kind of shine some light on Batman and Catwoman's relationship and why it's so volatile and why it necessarily can never work. So with the way that Tom King left his Batman run and a lot of people were left wondering and wanting what happened with the Batman Catwoman relationship, this is like a proper book into it. It's, it's very, very uh, twisty and turny. You kind of never know what to expect in each issue. And that last issue was nuts. You had Joker and Phantasm go to a house and start tormenting and torturing this poor family. But, Looks like Phantasm might be out of the running for now. So it's back to Catwoman and Joker and their crazy antics behind Batman's back. So and finally for this week, the last one that's guaranteed on my Legion list, it's the next issue of Nightwing number 87. So this is the return to Nightwing since the Fear State tie-in. So those were absolute garbage books. Like it was, it was unfortunate that Tom Taylor had to take a time out to even do tie-in books because this has been a smooth read so far. It's been focusing on Nightwing getting uh, back rooted in Bloodhaven after the events of uh, all the fear state stuff and him inheriting a large fortune and setting up the uh, Alfred Pennyworth foundation and trying to help Bloodhaven, And he's dealing with a lot of corruption and crime in the city, as well as a woman who's claiming to be his older sister. So we'll see how that plays out. If she really is. And if she's there to help or if she's there to take him out. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for this week. It's not a huge week again. Uh, it's the holiday time, so I'm expecting it to continue to be kind of light. So uh, I do want to give a big shout out to all the channel members out there. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you want to consider joining the Legion, be sure to look down next to the uh, subscribe button. There's a blue button that says join. You just smash that bad boy, and it'll give you the options down there. And uh, a yeah, big thank you. And be sure to check out the show tomorrow night for At Weeks, and it's going to be a full Spider-Man No Way Home uh, spoiler show. So we'll be talking the movie uh, wide open, uh, not holding back. So if you've seen the movie by then and you want to come hang out and just just geek out over it because it was absolutely phenomenal, be sure to hop in over there. It'll be 9 p.m. real time. And as always, guys, until next time, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.